What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, if you can't tell from the title, this is going to be a video all about me getting my nipples pierced for the second time. Something I wasn't really sure if I was actually going to go through with. If you're unfamiliar, I used to have mine pierced for years and years and years and eventually, for whatever reason, I have a whole video going more into detail, but eventually my piercings started to shift within my body and they were no longer laying straight in my nipples as they should have been, so I had had to take them out and they were thinning and it was a whole thing. If you're curious, that video is linked down below in my piercing video playlist along with a bunch of other videos about my various piercings. I have like a whole series about my nipple piercing, so if you want to go check that out, it's all linked down there. Alright, but anyway, so I think it was probably a month, like four weeks I think, after I took them out that I was... My body would have been okay for me to go get them re-pierced. My body would have been healed enough, there we go, for me to go get them re-pierced. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted them pierced again, but I was chicken, I was... <laughs> I like kept thinking back to when I first got them pierced and it was quite painful. And I remember being so nervous and just like, I wanted them but I wanted the whole experience <laughs> over with. And I mean, it's a very like intimate piercing anyway, so... Yeah, I just wasn't too keen on the idea of having to go back and getting them re-pierced. But when you really want something, you're going to just go for it. So eventually, I think after like two months of just kind of like, oh, like I don't know what to do. I just bit the bullet, made an appointment with my piercer. I go to the same piercer for all of my piercings. Um, so I made the appointment and then I was just like, like I'm locked in. Like I can't get out of this. I've made this appointment. What am I going to do? So I think it was the 5th of March that I got them repierced, and it is March 30th now that I'm filming this. So yeah, I got them repierced. Um, you probably want to get know about the pain. So pain, honestly, first off, I was not even like a fourth as nervous getting them done the second time as I was the first time which is like odd for some reason because I have some scar tissue on them from just on my nipples from the previous piercings so some people say like scar tissue hurts more to get re-pierced so I was very like calm though I wasn't nervous or anything I was just kind of more like let's get this done I'm not looking forward to it but I'm just looking forward to having them um so honestly like pain wise like one being like the least painful and 10 being the most painful, I would honestly say second time around, for me personally, I can't speak for you, your cousin, your mother, your sister, I can't speak, you know, for anyone else, I can just speak for myself. For me, it was honestly like a four. The first nipple was a four, the second one was a five, just because at that point your adrenaline has already kind of depleted, so that one was a little bit more painful, but they were not even nearly, nearly as painful as when I first got them pierced. So I was pleasantly surprised about that. Um, size or length of the jewelry, it's typical gauge, I can't, can't remember what the typical gauge is, but it's just typical gauge for double piercings, but the length I think we did half inch, half inch or a little under I think. I'm not very good at remembering the lengths on piercings, I don't know why, but I just always have like struggled with that. So length, gauge, pain, aftercare. So aftercare is pretty simple for me and like my piercer. He doesn't tend to recommend sea salt soaks as they can dry piercings out, which is something I went against his advice when I first got them done. I was doing sea salt soaks and if you guys remember I made a whole video about that and how they ended up getting really really dry where they were so painful. Um, and that video is actually really like done well on my channel because I guess a lot of you guys have experienced dryness with your nipple piercings. So to, for that, just I'll just say in this video, I mentioned it in that video as well. But for that, I was putting um, the tattoo goo ointment comes like a little like circle tin thing. I was putting that on them and that really helped. Um, but anyway, so he doesn't tend to recommend sea salt soaks really for these piercings, just unscented dub bar soap and warm water and that's it and just when you're in the shower just let the warm water hit them and for as long as you can and then just kind of like push the bar to one side to 
kind of wipe or rinse away any of like the gunk that may be on the bar. Obviously you want to do it up to the other side and both. So that's really all I've been doing. One thing that has sucked so much and that I hate is I have to wear a sports bra to bed. That is what my piercer recommends. And that was part of the reasons why I had to take them out in the first place was because they moved around when I was, it's a whole thing. Um, so yeah, I have to wear a sports bra to bed, which is not like the end of the world. Just I'm somebody who like, I want to just be free. And so like have my girls just like strapped down in a sports bra is just like uncomfortable, but it's for the sake of my piercings. So I'm just going to suck it up and deal with it. So I'm wearing a sports bra to sleep. And I mean, I wear sports bras over regular bras most of the time anyway. So that's fine, but just to sleep in, it's just uncomfortable, but it is what it is. Um, they're doing really well actually right now. They have yet to get crusty, which is like amazing because first time around I got them done. That was something I struggled with, like almost up until I had to take them out was just the constant crustiness. And I think maybe that was because they were constantly like shifting and like moving forward and things like that. But right now there's no crusty, there's no pain. They like literally, I feel like they're already healed. <laughs> they're probably not obviously, but like there's, they're doing really well. Um, I do still have some scar tissue, like I've said, but I, if anything, the scar tissue will help as an anchor to kind of keep them more in place. But I can't think of anything else. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. If you guys want me to do updates on them again for the second time around, definitely let me know and I will do that. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I should say I got them done with just a straight barbell on each side. Um, I'm not particular myself. I'm not particularly a fan of the curved barbells in them, like captive bead rings, anything like that. I just prefer a straight barbell. It's your personal preference and it's also like what your anatomy can handle. My anatomy could handle the captive bead rings, but like I just said, it's not like my aesthetic. So I just go for the straight barbells. I think they look cuter, especially on me. But yeah, so I think that is it. If you guys have any questions, like I said, leave them down below. If you want me to do the updates, also let me know. And don't forget to look down in the description box for my social media and my piercing video playlist, as I've already mentioned before. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video.